All right, this is second grade, module six, lesson 14. And in this lesson, students are going to be encouraged to think flexibly as they use paper models to continue thinking about arrays. And the idea is we're moving from that concrete representation where they were using teddy bears or counters. And ultimately, we want to get to some abstract understandings, abstract concepts. And so right now, we're in that middle ground, that pictorial stage, that pictorial stage where they are, students are going to be drawing pictures. Now in this case, they're going to be given some squares, uh, some rectangles, and then they're going to be asked to visualize what would happen if we cut into rows or if we cut it into columns. And, and it's just encouraging them incrementally to move from the concrete to that abstract world. Uh, it also gives students the idea of those unit squares are all the same, that uh, several unit squares put together makes a row, several rows put together makes an array or a rectangle, and, and it's that iterative concept that students are also going to be thinking about. So let's get started. So we've got this rectangle here, and we're being asked to imagine that we cut it into its rows. Now, what would we see if we uh, cut this into its rows. And the idea is we're going to see something that looks a little bit like this. So we want to see three strips of four. right? So that's our three rows of four. So how many squares are in each row? And of course we want students to be able to visualize, oh, the answer is four. Imagine same rectangle, but now we cut it into columns what would our picture look like? Well, now our picture would look like something like this. So how many squares are in each column? We can see it's three. So parents and teachers, the idea of this is just helping students practice their visual, that spatial visualization, their visual abil their ability to visualize what's going on. Um, cut another rectangle. You create another rectangle using the same number of squares. So We've got a bunch of squares here, so, oh my goodness. And we're going to create another rectangle using those same 12 squares. So let's see. And remember, try not to create any gaps. And of course, you can see I'm leaving gaps all over the place. So do as I say, not as I do. There you go. There's one example. Now, is that the only example? No. Nah but it's the one I came up with, and that's perfectly fine. So how many squares are in each row? In my case, the answer is two. And how many squares are in each column? The answer is six. So that wraps up second grade module six, lesson 14. The idea of being able to see that a rectangle is made up of a bunch of a bunch of square, unit squares, replicated and put next door to each other, and that when you have one row, then you can start repeating those rows, and that is how you're going to be getting these, creating these arrays. Um, and of course, you can always have, here's the big reminder, is, oops, wait, let me finish that. I'm missing one. That's driving me crazy. There. Now, the other thing is to remind our students that if we had, oh, let's say we had five squares, one, two, three, four, five. So I want to get rid of all of these. Let's see. I want to get rid of all those. I don't know how to do that group. And then I'm going to delete them. Good. All right. So the idea is if we have five squares, can you make an array with only five squares? Don't forget, parents and teachers, your students are going to want to say, well, with five squares, we cannot make an array because there's always going to be a gap, no matter how we try and do it. But don't forget, we want to allow our students to remember or help our students remember that an array can be only one row high. You can have an array with only one row. And that wraps up the lesson.